County. If you wish to top the bid, give us a ring, 410-481-9910, or our fax line, 410-481-9446. Marty Brazo works for the Baltimore County School System. Come on in, Marty. He's an active environmentalist. He's Ooh. just back from the rainforest. Please welcome Marty. What are you, what are you wearing there? You got all your, you get all your, your gear on. What am uh, I doing holding uh, your hand like this? You want to dance? What is this? You, you wearing all your... Uh, well, I just came stuff. out of the rainforest, and all of a sudden I'm here. I'm a little... A little uh, dazed, are you? Yeah, it's I mean, been that kind of a show. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yes. Marty, you went to, uh, where'd you go? I've Kuala been, Lumpur, where did you no, go? No, I've been to Belize. Belize. Costa Rica, Ecuador, let's show, and let's then Let's show Palapagos. folks a map. We have a map to show folks where you were. In the, okay. Or where the rainforests are, right? Yeah. Because you're interested in the rainforests. Somewhere, the rainforests of the world. You went to the one in, uh, in Central America. Yes. Right? I went to uh, Costa Rica, uh, which is in Central America, north of South America. Down there. South of Mexico. Yes. And you took some students with you? I've taken uh, high school students and teachers, and I've also been to, um, with teachers, to, um, to Trinidad. Mm -hmm. I've taken teachers to Trinidad to teach them how to, to teach in the environment. And you brought back some video rainforest. for us, too. Yes, I did. Right. Let's take a look at that. Uh, okay. And you can describe what we're seeing as we go along on uh, this trek with Marty Brazo. Well, this takes place in Trinidad, the video you're about to see. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the, the coast of Trinidad and some of the wildflowers that you see there. Uh, and if you look closely, you'll see all, many different butterflies. And here we are birding from a bridge, some of the teachers. And uh, lush rainforest in Trinidad. We went in July. This is an aura pendula flying. An aura pendula. And here we are driving through the rainforest. Mm. And it's actually raining. It, well, <laughs> yeah, and, there's some drizzle there. Yes, it's raining right there. <laughs> <laughs> gentleman uh, using his leaf to... You look right behind the, below the and here we are, this is the dense rainforest. Here we are looking for, at a bearded bellbird, which is a rare uh, bird that you see down there. Did you actually do a bird count of, of the count of the birds that you saw? Exactly. We uh, counted them every evening. We got together and here we are going through a mangrove down in uh, Trinidad. He's and all, by the way, these the are all snake. teachers. I see a snake. Teachers yes, from I had Baltimore County? Student, and I had some students that went with us. Here we are, this is the veranda of the Asa Wright Nature Center, looking at some of the birds, and you'll see coming up the birds in view. Now we know, I mean, I can see why just from, uh, That's an ant for, for the sake of beauty and nature, appreciating that, why you would go there, but also to appreciate what's happened to the rainforest. What we yes. hear about the rainforest in this part of the world is mostly negative. Yes, they are disappearing, but there have been recent efforts, uh, organizations like the Nature Conservancy. Uh, this is a hummingbird right there that you see mm. down, in, down in Trinidad. The Nature Conservancy and other organizations are doing a lot to protect the rainforest. So there is some a bright future in the rainforest. You but think so? We had some statistics on what's going on uh, with the rainforests of the world. Uh, Marty might want to fill us in there. Yes, half the world's rainforests have disappeared already, and the rest are being wiped out at a shocking rate of 35 million acres a year. It's astounding. 67 man. acres a minute and a football field a second. So, just, just being taken by industry, by uh, by loggers yeah. and um, by other, just overpopulation. Population. The fastest growing um, areas of the world are in the tropical areas when it comes to human population. So there's a problem with that. Are you sponsoring more trips? Yes. In fact, I have some trips coming up in July. I'm going to Panama, and I'm going to Belize. I'm taking teachers, students, or anyone that's interested in studying about the rainforest. Here we have some uh, information here on Marty. Brazo's trips. Marty, where do you teach, by the way? Uh, I teach at Fort Garrison Elementary School. Oh. All right, there we have them. Do we, do we have some information? Yeah, we have a phone number from Marty, 410-665-7462. And we have your email address, mbrazo, B-R-A-Z-E-A-U, at Maryland. Oh, it's that library one, isn't right. it? That's that long one there. See it? Yes. At mail.bcpl.lib.md.us. Correct. Way to go, Marty. Thank you very okay. much for coming in and sharing this with us. Thank okay. you very much. Marty Brazo. Thank you. I'd like to have him for, what do you teach, science or I'm elementary? School, I'm a school librarian, media specialist. School librarian. I'd like to have you for a teacher. Lynn Hausman has bid $160, topping the bid of Beth Kirky for the Beanie Baby to benefit the Family Crisis Center of Baltimore County. Stay with us. It's now time to resume our trek. I'm going on a little hike. Well, you notice I've been on a hike, Cunningham Falls State Park. Stay, stay here. Everybody stay here, okay? Let me give a little music from the Hula Monsters as I go out and do this again. Do you mind? Yeah. I think it's time to go back out to Cunningham Falls. You stay here, Marty. I'll be right back, everybody. Going to go out and find Cindy Ecker. She's the park manager. Michael, you stay there and keep drawing. I'll be right back. 
Hey, Dan, I've been waiting for you for a while now. Where have you been? Uh, doing a TV show. <laughs> doing a TV show. This is a nice spot. Yeah, this is one of my favorite spots. you got a combination of uh, green stone. You can see the 